Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you join me here once again in Computer Tycoon. Now, if you were with me for the last episode, you may recall that we did make quite some strides in coming back against the unbelievable dominance of the Green Company, who I've forgotten the name of already. Uh, IBN, that's who they are, who I think achieved something like 60% of the total computer market, which was unbelievable. So we came up against them, we, we pulled them back a peg, and then just as, again, just as previously, just as the last episode was ending, something dramatic happened. The red guys, brutal, are they brutal data? They are indeed. Suddenly stepped up and took charge of the global sales market. Or, in another sense, they took the lead. They didn't overtake in terms of um, global... They, did they overtake? No, they have actually. Look at that in the last year. This is by year. So it's, it's the graphs aren't entirely accurate for the sort of immediate real-time display you see on the map. But as you can see, they have taken over 40%. We can see it here in dominancy for the last month. So it's slightly more granular. They have taken nearly 50% of the market. They just suddenly shot up out of the blue and really took the place of Wheelbright's IBN. However, the work I'd done in expanding my market and getting a super duper new computer into the shops has paid off. I'm now in a reasonably good third place, a long way behind the other two, but I am, you know, ahead of the game. So what we need to do really, I think, is think we have two objectives. Make sure we can keep our computers competitive in terms of feature set, attributes, characteristics and so on, and also price. And we've been doing that, as you saw in the last episode, by introducing new and cheaper manufacturing technologies. And we need to expand our markets so that however much the other guys manage to sell, we can sell large numbers as well. Now, one of the interesting things here, um, you may have noticed when I was introducing the, the game just then, uh, China has a red colour. Not because it's communist, which obviously it still is. We're only in 1979. Well, in fact, it's still communist in 2021, isn't it, to be honest, after a fashion. Um, so, yes, although China is communist, it actually opened up to the world market. They allowed foreign companies to invest in and sell products uh, in, into China itself. So China is unusual in now being our first open communist market. And it's a huge market. So the temptation to sell into China is quite immense. But we will need lots of production capacity, which is fine because we do have that. If we go into my sites, uh, we can see if I sort this into factory order. There we go. I have actually closed a lot of them down because we suddenly lost our sales to brutal data. But we can pick that up and we can probably actually um, expand extend this to add in a another level three factory which we might well do but what i want to do first off is we have got some research we've done we have composite monitors fans cli power adapters dram and stuff so i need to create some new hardware components so i can build a brand new computer now of these dram uh, is good that gives me three CPU, memory and video card, these sort of circuitry things to fiddle with. That gives me a nice feature set boost and capacity. At it. That's that's a great technology. We also have composite monitors, uh, which are in data projection. They're here. They'll give me a lovely boost for my display screens. We have also CLI which is around here somewhere. See a light, there it is. Which again is another nice feature set and ease of use boost to my operating system. The first change I think in operating system we've seen since we introduced the game. And I've also unlocked a couple of uh, cooling technologies or energy, it, well both energy and cooling. We've got the big fan, which is fine. I can use that, but that just adds a lot of noise. It takes out heat, but that's not a big issue for me at the moment, so I don't think we'll be worrying too much about that. We've also researched the power adapter, which gives me a, a nice prestige 
uh, or quality boost as well. I, I can never remember which way around those two, the star and the diamond go. But the thing about the power adapter is it's not applicable to home or personal computers, so we don't need that at all. But the main thing we, for reason for going for power adapter, is we do will at some point need the electrical noise reduction, and indeed the UPS is a handy thing to have. We are researching, it is on our queue, the small fan. Uh, and that we can use in our computers, as we click here. Yeah, it's used on a lot of various technologies, components here. So that can be handy as we build bigger, faster and hotter computers. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to start uh, building my new set of components. My CPU, for example. Let's get this into the latest order. And for this, uh, we will click on that. We'll copy that. This is going to be our fifth CPU. We're going to take out dip memory and put in DRAM. Excellent. Uh, actually, if I put, I can't put the dip back in. Let's uh, put the DRAM in. Now, following the previous uh, episode, I've, I've heard from the developer, Andrash, who was saying that it can be a lot cheaper, more effective to and use the multiplier rather than the clock or frequency. So we might do that to give us those processor feature, so the performance boost that we're after. It's just performance it does. It does obviously add to the cost of producing these components, so I think we might well do that. Because we do now need to make sure that our computers are, in terms of characteristics in terms of feature set are competitive not just in price but they need to be leading edge technology as well so we'll create that and what I'll do is I'll go through and create all the other new components that I need and I'll come back to you on the other side of a little sexy video effect uh, with all those and then we'll head on to making our brand new 1979 computer and there they are five wonderful new components for my new upcoming new computer a new cpu some ram a new display option new graphics card and a new operating system at last here in 1979 uh, they're all that much more expensive than the previous versions of each of these options with the exception quite dramatically of the display screen the composite, the composite monitors, uh, as I understand it, and as the description tells you all about it, is basically a way of connecting your computer into your own TV, rather than me providing you with an option with, the, with an actual screen itself. So it goes down from 145 uh, production point requirement or cost to 28.19. So hopefully that reduction in cost in actually providing a physical screen to the consumer will save me a lot of money on my new computer right now we do have uh, as we saw earlier a number of technologies uh, already in research I will add more research in as we go through this episode we're going to wait for those to come through to be honest before we go on and do uh, any more and decide what to do but obviously the first thing to do we need to get our new computer out into the marketplace it's the curious thing here is is that brutal data they're still using a computer from 1978 okay christmas 1978 <laughs> whereas both ibn and myself have released computers since then but we're still not really beating or digging into brutal data's market market segment Right, let's get on with this. Let's get our new computer. Uh, we need to go to design. We need to go copy the design. This is our second computer of 1972. We'll call it that. No more accessories. We do have some new memory, which is this here. We have a new CPU. Uh, actually, I could archive that one, couldn't I? No, go back and archive that one. We don't need that old CPU on our portfolio anymore in the catalog. So we'll take that one. No new uh, storage devices. We've got a new video card. I mean, look at the difference here between performance and feature set and everything. But the DRAM in particular, it was the DRAM that's really given us these uh, this leg up in those areas no new power supply yet i could have put a big fan on there but that just add noise and as you can see i don't have a heat problem at the moment so that's not an issue 
Uh, the motherboard hasn't changed either, but the display has. Uh, look at that again. Feature set, ease of use, uh, prestige that is, isn't it? Yes, prestige is good as well for the for the actual composite provide your own TV option and a new operating system. Uh, again, full of features and ease of use compared to the old whatever the operating system was before that. Well, what did you have before the command line interface? Switches on the front, I suppose. Okay, we're going to worry about pricing it later, but uh, let's get the marketing decided here. We have, ooh, actually prestige is important to my casuals. We did we did get a message actually, which I kind of ignore, or don't ignore, I don't see or don't pay attention to some of these. We did learn, you've learned something new about marketing. Check your last product's marketing page in the bottom left here. So I think prestige has suddenly become important. So I just want to bump that up to very important. Uh, billboards, oh, they're important. Right, let's bump that up as well. I don't think they make any significant difference to the cost of marketing here, do they? No. Right, so that's what we'll work on. Uh, performance, that might change because I'm now putting more performance into my computer. So that's going to be our marketing strategy for our new computer. Uh, we're going to test it for six. Actually, the price of testing has gone down. Is that because I've got more efficient and cheaper factories now? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, Your we'll new get that. computer model went into the testing we'll phase. Get that into testing. Uh, we'll get the game running. Uh, if you may recall from the last episode, uh, I did lose a lot of sales. I went down from some, something like 15% to 9%. So I've got quite a large stock of machines in the warehouses. Now. One of the things I want to do is boost my research. And we've currently got, I think, does this tell us? Um, it doesn't tell me so much. I think I've got two, oh, so it's up here. So I've got three research points. What I was thinking actually, in terms of research, is the usual strategy is to put them into very rich countries because you get a discount on the cost of the laboratory Your technicians. Your upgrade has completed. Hello, I don't remember asking it to build anything. What was that? <laughs> An office upgrade in Peru. Ooh, okay. Why are we building? Ah, yes, so we get extra discounts on our factory. That's fine. All right, uh, yes, yeah, so what I was saying was, uh, yes, because you get an extra uh, discount on the cost of the te technicians for research, it becomes much cheaper than in a poverty country, where it actually costs more to, to build a research lab than it does in a rich country. Now, the interesting thing here is if we compare, say, uh, what we've got here, Peru and Senegal. Now, Peru does have a level two office, which means I get a 20% discount on all the daily costs of all my buildings. And we can see here that a research lab if I build one now to level one, it would cost me just over, tw well, just under 21 grand a day. Whereas with a level one office, with only a 10% discount, that cost would be 23,500. Compare that to a level one office here in Spain, which is 16 grand. Yeah, so we're comparing 21 to 16. Whereas a level two research establishment would cost me 23. And that gives me an extra, that gives me just one, that gives me two research points as opposed to one. So I'm just getting an extra one for that extra cost. So I'm thinking rather than building a new, complete, whole new rich site in a rich country, if I upgrade somewhere like Peru, I would get one research point for 21 grand as opposed to 16 or 18 whatever so it's not that much more expensive and it's certainly cheaper than going up to level two that's my rationale as a long-winded way of saying i'm going to upgrade peru and put some research in there even though it's a poverty country in fact if we go here look you can see i get a 30 percent uplift in the costs for those for those technicians but I now get a 20% bonus because I've got a level two office. You see, it all works out in the end. Uh, that's upgrading. I need to get the game running. There you go. Good. That's going to build that. 
We could also do you with... You have researched a new technology. Oh, we've got our sprites. That's good. What does that give us, actually? Oh, the small fan will come through very quickly as well. Now, sprites, I can never remember where they are. I think they're circuits, aren't they? Ah, no, there they are. They're computing. So, sprite accelerator chips gives me, again, an improvement to my video card performance or thereof. So, that would be very handy. Uh, actually, in fact, how quickly is the rest of my research going to go? Oh, that's not going to take any time at all. So let's line up some more research. Uh, no, the other way around, dear. Uh, that way around. There you go. Mod oh, modular computer design. That will lead us, as it says there, into the era of PC computers. Uh, alkaline batteries. I don't think that actually applies to us at this point. Uh, where's alkaline batteries? Where are they? Oh, there they are. Now, they're for portables and above, so we don't need that. Someone has already researched that, because that's a very low research cost. Uh, okay. Uh, so, what we're looking at, modular computer design. Yes, we're definitely going to do that. Time sharing is a lovely new uh, operating system enhancement. We could do that. And possibly even the monochrome CRT. Okay, now while our research lab is being built, I want to look at some more countries to mark it into. We were thinking of going to China, weren't we? Now the good thing about China is the tax, although it's high-ish, isn't as high as it is in some of these really rich countries. But the market is enormous. I think that will be worth it. Uh, now, I do have, I think, some spare logistics points. Let me just check that on my panel here. Uh, where were they? I'm sure I did have some that weren't in use. Uh, level one, level one. Ah, here we are, Niger. Okay, uh, let's give myself a logistics point to play with. Let's go into... China. Ooh. It's so big, you could put 184 logistics points in there to cut down the reseller t uh, cut from each of your sales. So put one point in there. That's good. Okay. And suddenly demand has rocketed, but I want to make that so my logistics point, logistics point is green rather than red to get rid of the annoying message. Okay, let's get our factories back up and running again. Particularly our level three factories. So we can take advantage of this sudden interest. Your new computer model is polished. Okay, so. You have researched a new technology. Excellent. Right, so we are, oh, our demand is still outstripping supply. So let's bring Senegal into play as well. In fact, do we want to keep, do we want to upgrade another level 2 factory site? I think we do. If we're going to go to places like China, we haven't gone to the US yet, so yeah, it's another huge market. Yeah, let's, uh, let's upgrade Senegal, uh, so we need a recreation building for that, so we'll start work on that. Uh, have we got, no, let's increase our Bangladeshi output. Malawi, okay. Yeah, I think we're overproducing at the moment. That's fine though. Right, so our new computer is ready to hit the marketplace. And how does it compare with uh, with cheap and sorry, they're not cheap and great, are they? They're IBM and <laughs> Brutal Data. It tells me who they are there. So performance is still not as good as IBM. Capacity is still a bit behind the others. Feature set, look at that. That's hugely better than anybody else. Well, in this shortlist anyway. Uh, prestige, oh that's good. Ease of use, I'm now that much more competitive. I'm certainly better than Brutal Data. And my quality, uh, no, it's not quite as good. I need to work on that. 
how much are they selling theirs for? They're, they're going cheapish. Right, now if I reduce the price of my existing unit... Ooh, look at sales have picked up <laughs> because we went to China. That's good. Uh, the pricing on that one, if I take that one down to, say, 3750... Okay, we're still making profits. But we'll see how the marketing on that one... Uh, adds up because you get charged an extra cost when you sell more than one computer of the same time okay let's uh, market this one your building upgrade has completed excellent and how many were sold Ooh, 12 oh look at that <laughs> nearly 6 million in demand oh, there's no way I can keep up with that Oh that's, out oh, that's outrageous. Okay, we need to increase the price, I think. Or reduce the discounts. Yeah, let's reduce the discounts. Let's say it's 50% for poor people. Uh, for really poor people. And 40% off for the poor. The average, they'll take a 10% discount. And the rich can only have a 5% discount. Interestingly, yeah, the only place where we're top dog is in feature set. But that's okay. Our prestige is pretty good. Everything else, we're very, very average. Okay. Um, but apparently, yeah, this, this computer here just isn't uh, selling well enough at that price. So we might as well archive that one. There we go. We're losing. Why are we losing money? We can't be losing money selling that many. How come you're losing money? We need to sell more. Have I got any factories which aren't producing? Malawi, come up to scratch. That's it. Every other factory is producing as best they can. Oh, we're not losing money. But we are so far behind the curve in terms of demand. China, we've got China, we've got Australia. Has completed. Ah, this this is awesome. Uh, the recreation centre in Senegal is ready. Where the heck is Senegal? It's somewhere around here. There's Senegal. Okay, let's upgrade the recreation centre. We need to get this done quickly. In fact, we could probably do another site, couldn't we? Sri Lanka is already level three. As is Morocco. Uh, Bangladesh. Yeah, you're level two. So we'll increase the office there and we'll build recreation sites there. So we're going to have another level three office. Uh, how's our... Um, oh, the upgrade in Peru has been done. So I've now you got don't four... don't have enough manufacturing yes, I know, capacity. Yes, now I've got four research points. So our uh, research should continue apace. I've got China. Oh, this is good. I haven't got Australia. How, how am I looking... This month, yet yeah, these guys, I'm they're they're falling a little bit. I've now got nearly 11% of the global market. I'm still in a nice third place. That's really nice. I could sell the computer for more. You have researched a new technology. Should I put the price up? Well, we'll give this one a few. Your building upgrade has completed. Few months. The office and the recreation center in Bangladesh has been done. Bangladesh is here. Actually, I can do it. It's quicker through here, isn't it? If I get the buttons pressed right, Bangladesh, uh, upgrade that. That's fine. And Senegal, upgrade that to level three. And then we can build our level three factory. We might as well upgrade the office there as well to give us an extra 10% discount. Oh, that, that was a rush. Oh, I'm nearly 12% of the global market. This is impressive. Good. Date all systems, though, they're not going away anytime soon. But the, sorry, the, important, the interesting thing here is how far behind Cheap and Great. They were the market leader in the early days, you may remember. They're now in a very poor fifth position. Shame. Your oh. building upgrade has completed. I've lost out Australia. Your building upgrade has completed. Okay, so I should now be able to upgrade my level two factory. In Senegal, upgrade has excellent. Completed. 
That was the office upgrade. That is excellent. I could probably do... I don't need to, to sell into another market because I simply cannot produce enough at the moment. China really is taking all my PCs. Look, they're not PCs, they're home computers. 13% of the global market. This is good work. Excellent work. I've learned something new about marketing. You see, I've spotted it this time because I was looking for it explicitly. <laughs> so, what do we know on our marketing? Uh, we have learnt something new. Oh, important. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I've learnt, to be honest. Nope. Oh, all, mm, these might have changed, but I can't remember what they were to start with, to be honest, so, oops, sorry. Your building upgrade has completed. Excellent. We don't have enough manufacturing capacity. Excellent. No, we will have in a moment. So Senegal is now level three, full blast, and still not keeping up with the Chinese demand. So, yeah, we can now upgrade Bangladesh. This, that's it. You see, Argentina, Australia have come back to us with the extra production capacity we now have. We're now approaching 14%, which is where we were two episodes ago when I was feeling really, really positive. <laughs> so, data, uh, yeah, we're, we're catching up. Data all systems, though, is refusing to be left you behind. You have researched a new technology. Now we've got modular computer design. I still can't do PCs. Oh, half a million Your a day. upgrade has completed. Now we need to spend money, I think. Uh, we have got... That was a factory upgrade in Bangladesh and we're still not meeting demand, are we? No, we're still a million behind. Holy moly. Okay, let's uh, upgrade Niger. And we might as well, we'll upgrade their office as well. We might as well start work on Malawi as well. So we can bring them into level three as well. 14%, over 14%. I've lost Australia and Argentina again to data or systems. Oh, they, are, they are pushing. Uh, if I bring them into the mix here. So what are we seeing from data or systems? Uh, they, yes, this it's still not a brand new machine. It's slightly there. Yes, that. Oh, yes, they have got. That is a good machine, actually. Yeah, credit to them. They've got a good machine there. <laughs> oh darn it! I, one thing I, I keep seeing and then not not mentioning is this panel over here, which has now disappeared, which shows you the actual price being sold in each of the sort of wealth market areas for these computers so in the poorest countries and the my computer is selling at 2,200 whereas Dator oh it's a lot less isn't it yeah they, they also got some big discounts yeah look at that how can they make money how can they make money let's have a look at their design oh, they've got six and they're using such obsolete technology as well. But they have ramped up all the multipliers and stuff. I wonder if that's what's giving... Oh, the noise is the, the fan. You see, that's... That's not going to do them any favours at all. Yeah, this, this really is quite old-fashioned technology. Even their power supply, they've got a big fan on that. But, mm, so it's noisy. In fact, overall, their machine is is too noisy, too noisy. Now that's the one thing I've stepped away from so far. How's our? Uh, I th let's do some more research. Okay, let's uh, actually. Well, we might as well. Uh, in research, let's go to level two. It's only an extra point in. Uh, Spain, that's where it was. Because you're only a rich country, aren't you? Yeah, the next level cost 81,000 there. Okay, let's upgrade the office to level two. Your building upgrade uh, has might completed. Might as well do 
the research there. It's only an extra point, but we can afford that now. We're making so much money. Now, there are factories. Keep an eye on those. Uh, we are... Okay, we're upgrading Niger and Malawi. So we can bring them online. Oh, I've just... Good grief. 32.5% of the global computer sales market. I've got Brazil, Australia, China. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Yes! Uh, we are top dog. Wow, look at that. Ah, uh, Brutal data has collapsed again. Will Bright is still in there struggling. He's around the 20% mark or so. Bigs are coming back. That's interesting. Oh, I'm loving this. I'm going to end this episode, I think, on that particular graphic. Oh, it's 1980. We've just turned over a new year. So, last year, we made $122 million. Awesome. Our sales. Oh, that, that is so impressive. That's China, basically, isn't it? Our share... There we are. The trouble is, I always used to use the green colour, so that's that's what confuses me on so many of these graphs. <laughs> there we are. However, I, look at this though. Brutal data have still got, in terms of number of sales, they did so well last year. But we've chopped them back now. Yeah, that's that's historic impact of their early year sales. Cheap and great, IBM, brutal data. But now, yeah, that slice is getting so much bigger. Oh, it's giving me all the numbers. I like I like these graphs. Preferences. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Customers. China. <laughs> Why do people ever want to go and sell stuff in China? <laughs> because there's billions and billions of people there who might buy it. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's such a distorted graph now that we're selling into China. But that is the best. Have I got any fans anywhere? Oh, most of my fans are still in Japan. Because Japan is a rich country. But China is catching up. Uh, okay, we're going to end on that. We have got some new technologies to put into our new computers. We've got modular computer design, which I don't think impacts us particularly. It doesn't do anything apart from allow us to build personal computers. You see, none of these compatibilities are green apart from that one but seeing as we're still missing a couple of other technologies for PCs we can't go into PC production as yet uh, we have gun controllers small fans sprite accelerator chips so they'll be coming I'll do the hardware creation uh, off camera now so we can build them into a brand new computer for 1980 and possibly extend our markets to other countries but I'm just wondering <laughs> Do I need to go anywhere else? When uh, Let's go to the world sh screen. When I have got China. I like that. That's going to be the screenshot, I think. Mostly. Yeah, the Pacific area is, uh, is purple. Purple Pacific. It all belongs to Computers by Ajax. So, once again, thank you so much for joining me today for this episode of Computer Tycoon. If you've enjoyed this, and I hope you have... It'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Just uh, click on the old thumbs up button. Even better, though, if you've got any thoughts, any hints and tips, recommendations, criticisms, anything you feel like saying, please do just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be awesome. How many times am I going to say that in this episode? I don't know. But I haven't got much longer left, so it's probably enough now. <laughs> but anyway, and also, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, it would be lovely if you would decide to do that just by clicking on that old subscribe button. And then you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here, so much closer to taking over the whole world with Computers by Ajax. Until the next time, bye-bye for now.